So this is my 24 volt off grid power supply. I've got four 12 volt Kings lithium ion batteries. They're 120 amp hours each, connected up in series and paralleled together, which gives me a combined output of 24 volts, 240 amp hours. Positive feed for my batteries comes up to an isolator switch next to the Lynx power in, uh, which is a bus bar for both my positive and negative feeds. And then it also has fuses on the positive side. Got a 500 amp Lynx smart shunt um, on the side here, which allows me to monitor state of charge and also loads on the battery via Bluetooth. They come this way, I have an isolator switch uh, for my solar panels. So I have six 200 watt solar panels on the roof. Both the positive and negative feed can be shut off with this switch. And the uh, feed from the solar panels comes through to a 100 by 50 MPPT solar controller. And I've paired that with a um, pure sine wave inverter, 24 volt, 1200 VE. Uh, this isn't Bluetooth, so I have um, brought the smart dongle which just allows me to monitor AC loads on the system. And this connects up to my house via a Caravan RV adapter. So this has a 10 amp plug on one end and a 15 amp plug on the other to connect into my um, AC distribution box for the house. Uh, this also has an RCD built inside. And I've just housed this in a cabinet. A few vents. So uh, these are the solar panels I have connected up on the roof. Uh, I have six 200 watt solar panels connected up. Each two is connected up in series and then paralleled off uh, with a combined total voltage, I think around 65 volts. And I'm getting that 50 amps at peak time of the day. So if we take a look at the Victron app, currently uh, smart shunt, Start of charge 100%. Solar is giving me 132 watts, 4.5 amps in the absorption phase, uh, which will be supplying my AC load at the moment of 114 watts. Uh, that 114 watts is currently my 200 litre fridge freezer. Uh, I have three ceiling fans and four lights turned on. Take a closer look at things. Smart shunt. And we have a combined total of 1,210 kilowatt hours, uh, which I last reset 13 months ago. Now, although this is quite a small system, uh, we do get by quite fine. Uh, I've run this for 19 months. It cost me $2,700. Uh, I've ran it flat once during Cyclone Jasper, where we had rain continuously for eight or nine days with no sunshine. Um, even so, we charged it one time, which was sufficient. Um, so we have fridge freezer running full time, the fans never turn off, we use lights when we need to. Uh, we run a TV for approximately three to four hours on any given day. Uh, we charge our phones, laptops, etc. We do washing. We normally, like everyone, we don't do it every day, but we do three loads or so, um, three or four times a week, no problem. Um, the only thing that this doesn't supply is uh, my fresh water pump, which is on a separate 12 volt supply. If you do want to see that, let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.